This place was once called Hongfield, so the history books do say. It was also called the Hanging Fields, but it's not called that today. People call it Anfield now, and times they are a changing. Some buildings they are knocking down, and some they are rearranging. If to an outsider you revealed that you resided in Anfield, immediately their mind would picture Anfield's famous soccer fixture, Liverpool's club and football ground. Throughout the world, it is renowned. Anfield was home to Everton in 1884. Eight years on, when the rent was raised, they walked out of the door. So Liverpool FC was formed in 1892. The colour of the kit they wore was also white and blue. Two years on, just for fun, an unknown player said, I don't like blue, it makes me spew. So they changed the kit to red. Supporters come to see them play and all around they see decay. But look about, on closer inspection, you'll see signs of resurrection. Old Stanley Park, once so run down, beautiful again is your shiny crown. Your Gladstone Conservatory, so long forlorn, now stands so proud, bejeweled, reborn. Sparkling bright amidst fields of green, lake pavilions, walls so clean. Your flower beds, your shrubs, your trees, shout welcome to the birds and bees. Inner city regeneration inevitably brings strife, a never-ending cycle, a cold hard fact of life. People who are moved away are sad and some shed tears, especially the older ones who've lived there many years. A part of them will stay behind, ghost-like in the air. Time stands still for no man, time just doesn't care. Those who lived their lives in Old Anfield grew up proud of Old Anfield. But old is old and old must crumble. Old Anfield, your homes must tumble. Some still remember when old was new, but new grows old like all things do. Knock them down, build them up again. That's your regeneration game. So old Anfield, you have to die. You'll be remembered, don't you cry. Time will heal and dull your pain and a new Anfield will rise again.